doing our first uh, liquid test of the brew system. See everything hooked up here. Get the pilot lights going. All the valves. We originally had to add a uh, special valve that's going to let all the air bubbles out. And we only have one leak, so that's pretty good for right now. Yeah, but we're going to fix that later, of course. So we have the HLT, or the hot liquor tank. The mash tun. And the actual kettle. And there's burners underneath. Only the first and uh, second vessel. The mash tun is uh, indirectly heated. And everything is wired up to our control box, which is now uh, fully functional with its new relay board. And you can see some of the switches on the side. And some more of the switches right here. Okay, so we're going to be turning on the burners. There's one. There's two. Okay, so we're going to do a full test with the burners. The first step is to take water that's going to be on the right here in the kettle and add it to the center mash tun uh, to add water to the grains that would be in there. So let's do that. Sparging, which is going to take the liquid from the center of mash tun and recirculate it back on top of itself while simultaneously running heated water through the HLT to keep the mash temperature. So the leftmost is recirculating water and the center is recirculating through the coil temperature and back to the top. All right, now we're going to turn off burner number one uh, on the HLT and we're going to do the spar job which is going to transfer additional hot water from the HLT to the mash tun and from the mash tun into the kettle uh, to do our spar job and get our total volume uh, inside the kettle. Water is coming from the HLT into the mash tun, uh, into the bottom of the train, and from the bottom of the mash tun into the kettle, and we're going to keep pumping uh, until we reach our target volume for the kettle. Okay, at this point, we would boil in the rightmost container on the kettle, and this we would add our hops and uh, brew like normal. And when we're done boiling, we want to chill, but we're not, we don't have an external chill. We're going to reuse the, the coil that's in the HLT to cool down. So at this point, we would add cold water to the leftmost container of the HLT and recirculate. So that's what we're going to do. So this is recirculating out of this vessel and in through this coil and all the way back to itself. And let's turn this one on now. And this one is recirculating through itself. And this one might add some ice to uh, chill it down to the right temperature. At this point, the wort in the kettle would be chilled to the right temperature and we would hook up the fermenter directly to one of the connections and use one of the pumps to pump the wort directly into the fermenter. So everything looks like it's working correctly and all the lines are 
connected and everything's flowing correctly. So we should be good to go for a mini batch of beer.